Officials in the United States say they are committed to fighting discrimination against the global Jewish community, and they're receiving help from Catholic leaders. Earlier today, the U.S. Embassy to the Holy See hosted an online event on confronting the global rise of anti-Semitism. The Vatican Secretary of State Cardinal Pietro Parolin joined the virtual event along with other government officials and Jewish leaders. Joining us now is Alon Carr, U.S. Special Envoy to monitor and combat anti-Semitism. He participated in the U.S. Embassy to the Holy See Symposium today. Special Envoy Carr, thank you so much for coming on. We appreciate your time. So tell us, why did the U.S. Embassy to the Holy See hold this meeting today, and how did it go? Well, thank you, Tracy, for having me. It's a pleasure to be with you. Um, Ambassador Gingrich and, and her leadership team at our embassy to the Holy See felt it was extremely important to hold this conference. Now, anti-Semitism has been rising for over a decade now, and, and the Catholic Church has such an important role to play, not only in combating anti-Semitism, but then proactively to turn the tables in, in recapturing our Judeo-Christian values, and more broadly, our Abrahamic values that underpin our civilizations in, in every country that we're in. And so this is an incredibly important time because anti-Semitism isn't only a threat to the Jewish people. Anti-Semitism is a pernicious, destructive force that threatens us all. That's why President Trump calls it the vile poison of anti-Semitism. Indeed, it is a vile poison, and all of us have to unite in combating it. Absolutely. What are some of the solutions to combat that hate, not only towards the Jewish community, but also people of all faiths? Well, a number of initiatives we're working on is, first of all, to uh, ensure that Jewish communities around the world are protected. Safety is a primary concern. And so we work with our allies to ensure that sufficient resources are devoted to protecting them. Uh, we work on hate crimes uh, prosecutions because it's so important that law enforcement authorities make that statement that a crime committed with hate as a motive is worse uh, than a crime committed uh, for other purposes. Um, the IRA definition, this is critically important. There is an international definition of anti-Semitism. And you know, if you want to effectively confront a threat, you've got to define it first. We have a vehicle for doing that. And that's the IRA definition. One of my top diplomatic asks if a country hasn't adopted it is that they adopt it. Uh, we're working on the internet because, because whether uh, the anti-Semitism comes from the far right, the far left, or militant Islam, all of these ideological camps are using the, using the internet and social media to recruit adherents and to drive their venomous ideologies with unprecedented speed and with global reach. This is a critical uh, point. And then a last issue that we're focusing on that's so important is, in addition to defending against anti-Semitism, we have to go on the offense. Well, how do you do that? You do that by, by uh, uh, teaching and educating in philo-Semitism, uh, uh, inculcating an understanding of and an appreciation of, of the Jewish people, of Jewish history, and of the values of Judaism that uh, are fundamental and underpin our civilizations. That's really how you go on the offense. If we do all of these together, I have no doubt that we'll be able to roll back the scourge of rising anti-Semitism in the world. Well, we appreciate you coming on and all the good work that you do. Thank you so much. Jalan Carr, U.S. Special Envoy to Monitor and Combat Anti-Semitism. Thank you again. Thank you.